What's going on guys? Welcome to the CG Gamer. I'm Tito Rosado and let's get into it. So Sony recently released in a blog post the first ever screenshots and video of the Spider-Man remaster that's coming to the PlayStation 5. They went ahead and detailed all the enhancements they're bringing to the game, um, some of the things you'd expect, ray tracing, better weather environments, better textures, um, but as you can see from this comparison video that IGN had put up, looking at the PlayStation 4 version versus the PS5 version, yes, you can see those enhancements. It does look better. But people aren't really paying attention to that aspect of what's coming through from this remaster. Uh, so the biggest thing people are looking at is right here. Yeah. Very different faces. Uh, and I think the second when everyone saw this new face, they were thinking the same thing. Go! Yeah. Not good. Um, I mean, I get that this isn't going to like drastically change the way the game plays or even really any major aspect of it, and it can seem trivial to be upset about this, but why? It just doesn't make sense. Like, there was nothing wrong with the face of the old Spider-Man. I think it fit that character very well. Um, Spider-Man on PS4 was close to one of my all-time favorite PS4 games. I mean, God of War tops it for sure. But... Is an amazing game and they really didn't need to change a lot with this remaster just simple texture upgrades would have been nice i feel like they kind of went out of their way for no reason um they did come out and state what the reason was uh which is that they wanted the new spider-man face to more mimic the new actor they were going with so from the first actor they were going with who they originally had um i like how this one looks i mean that Spider-Man, to me, looks like what they were going for, which was an older Spider-Man who has been Spider-Man for a long time. And you kind of, you can see it in his face, right? Like, he looks a little stressed. He looks like he's actually been through some stuff. Um, so now they casted a new uh, face actor for that, and it's this guy here, which, you know, it's a low-budget Tom Holland. Like, let's be real. Um, I feel like if they could just have said what they were really meaning to do there, because while they're saying, oh, we wanted to match this voice actor, it really feels like they just wanted to get it closer to the Spider-Man from the movies, the Tom Holland um, that everyone kind of knows and recognizes. And maybe they think that that'll draw more people to it, which I don't think they need to because there's already enough talk and hype about how great Spider-Man was and why everyone can't wait for Miles Morales. So I just don't understand. Um, but it's obviously getting a lot of backlash. I mean, even you can tell from the video that was posted from PlayStation, the dislikes to likes ratio is massive. I mean, people are not happy. Uh, they're trying to start, uh, I, I saw some people talking about like, we need to do what we did with Sonic, get it changed, which I don't know if that's going to happen. I honestly, I don't think Sony really cares enough. I mean, we'll see. It would surprise me if they actually look to change it, but I think they know that Regardless, people are going to play the game. I mean, all the Sony fanboys out there, it doesn't matter what they do. It's like they can do no wrong in their eyes, right? Even though they may be upset about this, they're still going to play it. Um, even for me, like, I don't really care to play the remaster in general. I loved playing Spider-Man before. I am stoked for Miles Morales because that most recent video that PlayStation dropped in their conference just... I mean, I was already sold on it. Now I'm triple sold because that just looks amazing. Um, but I don't know. I just think it was kind of pointless to change the face. I don't think it's going to drastically hurt my experience of the game, but I just think it makes no sense. But that's just my thoughts and opinions on this situation. Would love to know yours down below. You guys have a good day.